Good morning, Springbrook. It is Wednesday, December 10th. We hope everyone is having a great day so far. I'm Cheyenne, and with me today is Tyler, and we're here to bring you the morning announcements. The SJA will be hosting a General Assembly on Thursday, December 11th, to discuss the next MCR. We will meet, we'll be meeting at 11.50 in the room F309. A big congrats goes out to our very own Aaron Bloom, who has qualified for the second round of the University of Maryland High School Mathematics Competition. A total of 2,090 students took the exam, with scores ranging from 100 to negative 38. Yes, you can lose points for wrong answers. Aaron was one of 221 students who qualified for round two. If you see him, tell him congratulations and wish him luck on round two. He has already taken the round two exam and we're waiting on his scores. Also, two of our juniors have scored in the top 35% of the 2,090 participants. These juniors are Sarah Reem and Andrew Andy Trong, and they both deserve a congratulations too. Attention students interested in AXO, the African American Academic Cultural Technological Scientific Olympics. Save the date, Saturday, December 13th, there will be a free visual arts workshop at Silver Spring United Methodist Church, 33 University Boulevard East. Silver Spring, MD, 8.45 a.m. to 12 p.m. Friday Volleyball is back. Staff and students are invited to the main gym Fridays during lunch to enjoy friendly volleyball games. KSHS staff, even if you're not interested in playing, you can come watch or we can put you to work as a referee or scorekeeper. Please wear appropriate footwear. Hope to see you Friday at lunch. Attention class of 2015, your representative from Joshins will be here again on December 15th and 16th in the cafeteria during lunch. He will be taking orders for caps, gowns, class rings, and other graduation needs. Well, that does it for Tyler and me, but before we go, please take a look at this video about participating in National Hour of Code Week. Hi, I'm Leah. And I'm Tanya. And we're lucky enough to be studying computer science. Hi, I'm Tanya. We think it's terrible that 90% of schools don't teach it. They definitely didn't offer it at my high school. Thanks, thanks. So we're trying to make this video to show that anybody can learn. We want to get 10 million students to do the Hour of Code. Hour of Code. Hour of Code. The Hour of Code. Hour of Code. Hour of Code. Hour of Code. The Hour of Code! How do you get him to get to the sunflower? He needs to do some actions. I got it. <laughs> hey! Oh. And then we'll run it and see what happens. <laughs> Amazing. Ah, there oh, we go. You just wrote your first program. I wrote it? Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> this is the code that you just wrote. Very awesome. I thought like code was like FBI hacker symbols <laughs> and stuff. A little bit of problem solving, a little bit of logic. It's like instructions. Programming is a lot easier today. Don't just play on your phone. Program it. All right. Awesome. How does someone go about getting a job? Maybe take an online class, find a class at a community college. You can get one of the best paying jobs in the world. I think medicine's moving into the whole computer age. Technology touches every part of our lives. If you can create technology, you can change the world. So we're excited that you are participating in today's Hour of Code. We just did two lines of code. Three lines of code. Four lines. Seven lines. Five lines. Five lines. Sixty lines of code. Ninety-nine lines. Sixty lines. Eighteen lines of code. Seventy-five lines of code. Doesn't matter how old you are. Todos lo pueden hacer. The hour of code. 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 Whether you're a young man or a young woman, whether you live in a city or a rural area. Everybody in this country should learn how to program a computer. And I just completed the hour of code. It's actually really easy to learn. Girls should learn this too. Understand that language Woo! that's going to be the, the future. Anyone can learn computer science. And you can learn too. Jack Dorsey, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, all of y'all, I'm learning. Give it a shot. Here, now they can't tell me nothing. We give that to the people. Spread it across the country. Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing. We give it to the people. Spread it across the country.